Asalaamu Alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a little Primark haul for you. And when I say little, I mean it's pretty small. It's not really going to be a trial, I'm I didn't pick up many clothes. This is basically everything I picked up in the 20 minutes I had before going to see Black Panther, which is be totally worth the hype. It's such an amazing movie. I'm not a superhero person at all, um, but just the storyline, the character development, costumes, the colours, the culture, it was just such a beautiful film and to see so much like black excellence in one movie it was just amazing so if you haven't seen it yet I definitely recommend you go and check it out it was brilliant but anyway this is my Primark haul and I'm really trying to keep as still as I can because my camera is on a tripod but the tripod is like balancing on my bed so I can get natural lighting so if you go into Primark at the end of February or the start of March you often find the reductions or the sale section from the winter stock which they hadn't managed to sell and personally I love the Primark's autumn winter collection because there's a lot more modest friendly things let's be honest so I managed to bag myself two really lovely jumpers this is what the first one looks like it's this beautiful like cable knitted colour. It's coming up really vibrant on camera but it's more of a softer orange shade and um, I just love the detailing on this. It's got like a line down the middle. It's kind of like that inside out jumper look where you can't quite tell if it is inside out or not but I just love this. And this was £13 reduced to £5 and I managed to find this in this beautiful um, orangey shade and also in the black shade as well. I picked up two packs of their PS Love This Round Cosmetic Pads. These are 100% cotton and these are my favourites for removing eye makeup. These are really really good, they're 50p for a pack of 100 which is great value for money and they're my favourites. I mean these and the Boots ones are really nice. The Superdrug ones I don't recommend, I don't know, they're just not as soft um, on the face as these are so yeah these are a must have. Now I did pick up one pair of trousers because I have picked up their trousers in the past and really liked them but I have a feeling I might be returning these only because the material looks like it's really really clingy and I prefer my trousers to be a bit looser for modest purposes as well but we'll see how it goes. I mean I like the print of these initially so I don't know how well you can see on camera but they are a straight leg design and these were £7 for the pair of trousers so really really good value for money and they are a stretchy fabric. I'll leave it on the screen here anyway how I got on with these but for seven quid I thought I might as well give it a go and obviously if I had longer than 20 minutes I would have tried them on in the changing rooms but I was on a bit of a time crunch. Ugh I've just seen okay so I saw these skirts in Primark and they're just like they're just nice long plain maxi skirts and I tend to get similar ones of these from eBay. Um, I've got like a grey one and a green one from eBay and they're about £5 as well. I just realised I picked up the total wrong size. I thought I had a size 10 or 12 and I picked up size 8. There's no way I'm going to fit into a size 8. It's a tube look skirt so it's, these are usually quite figure hugging around the waist and hips area especially if you're a little bit more on the curvy side. So I'm either going to have to give this to my sister or return this. We'll see how the trousers go. If the trousers don't fit and, and they are going back, then these will go back with it. I then picked up a pair of their super cosy leggings in small to medium. These are £3.50 and I like these because they're better for like this time of year when it's not freezing cold but it's still pretty chilly. These aren't as cosy as their really thick winter ones um, and they're really nice. They're so £3.50. The only issue that I had with these was there's no size between small and medium and large to extra large I believe. Like there was like a medium to large in the middle missing. I don't know but I'm not sure that these will be long enough for me because I'm quite tall. I'm like five foot seven so hopefully these fit. I managed to like wear out all my tights so I picked up a pack of three pairs of AT Denia Weather Sensor Finish Opaque Tights which I thought were really cool. These are £3.50. I got them in a size medium and it says that it keeps you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm with lycra fabric which sounds very like high tech to me for a pair of tights so we'll see how they go. Then it's my sister's 12th birthday coming up so I picked her up one of these Harry Potter Ravenclaw bags because she has been sorted into Ravenclaw house and she's slightly obsessed with Harry Potter at the moment just like I was when I was her age and the Harry Potter merchandise in Primark is pretty impressive. I really like these actually these are the PS um, cosmetic buds and these are 80 and what makes these 
is different to your typical cotton bud so are that on one end it's really pointy and the other end it's flat so I find these are really really good for like cleaning up lipstick that's kind of gone astray or cleaning up any eyeliner mistakes you've made or actually just removing your lipstick because it's quite flat you can literally just put remover on and really buff the lipstick off okay this is something I'm really excited about I've seen this on Instagram so many times with some of my favorite bloggers and um, fashion side especially she spoke about these and then loads of people started sharing them and I was waiting for our Primark to finally get on board with them and it's basically the Primark Oud line it's a private collection perfume line and I got all three of the scents so they have pomegranate and black tea they have jasmine and honey and they have the rose one which is in my bag at the moment and these are three pounds each now I've heard that they're dupes for the Jo Malone fragrance range and they have a really beautiful authentic smelling scent which is amazing because usually when you're not spending a lot of money on scents you're going to get something quite cheap and almost like plasticky smelling or just too too artificial if that makes sense these are like the Oud Jo Malone-esque dupes in primer. I was also really interested to see their PS No Filter Priming Oil. This was £5. I haven't tried any priming oils so far, however I really like the idea of them, that your skin is super super hydrated and moisturised before you put foundation on. So it looks like this, it comes in like a pipette bottle and it has a bunch of different oils in it basically. So it's got sweet almond oil in it, jojoba oil, apricot kernel oil, sunflower oil, argan oil and then loads of different extracts as well and it was made in turkey so i thought it would be really interesting to give it a go i then picked up another pair of another set of their nails these are the pointed silk touch nails um one pound light pink really nice color can't really go wrong not much to say though um and then i like the look of this this is a five skincare travel jars one pound fifty for these really cute adorable looking jars and although I have not planning to do a lot of traveling anytime soon, I actually think these would be really good for when you're getting to the end of a product and you just need a little container to keep them in. I was watching um, Fo's Beauty on Instagram the other day and she was also on this mission to use up loads of her products and she said that it's really important to cut open tubes because they have so much more products inside them and that's definitely something I want to start doing um, so I can get the most out of my products and then having them in these little pots is just perfect so you get five really decent sized pots for £1.50 and I don't think any other store does this sort of thing where they sell these really essential items for such affordable value for money so this was definitely a must have and I probably would pick up another set as well actually. Sticking to the beauty theme I picked up another one of their angled and tapered powder brushes. Now the other one I have has got like the iridescent handle but I'm pretty sure the brush is exactly the same as the first one I got. I love this, this is £2.50 and I've used my other one so 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 much and I've washed it, it washes really well. Obviously the only issue with the double ended brushes are that you can't keep them in like a brush holder but because I'm doing my makeup bag of the month I just keep it in my makeup bag and it's just so handy, I mean I can do my bronzer, my blusher and my under eye powder with this one brush. So time saving, so so much space saving as well and the bristles are so nice and soft. And then they have like this new nude range which is kind of like a dupe of the Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian West range and then a bunch of other sort of sort of similar looking items. So the first thing I picked up was a new eyelash curler. I just thought it was a really nice colour, it was like this pink and gold and it's got a replacement eyelash pad here. I do have one from Isla but I've had it for like a good three or four years now and it's looking pretty battered and this was £1.50. Then I also got the PS News lip collection um, and this has got a matte liquid lipstick and a lip liner in it and it's like this. We all know who, who they duped this off of and this was £3 so each item is £1.50. Now I haven't tried this yet, I got the shade The Real Seeker but I did want to just open it up on camera. So the packaging was really nice on the outside. And this is what the lip liner looks like. It's the PS Nudes Edition. Okay, interesting. So that's what the colour looks like on the back of my hand. You can see my leftover foundation there. It looks like a colour I would quite happily wear. It's like a nudie, morbid shade, definitely my type of shade. 
not the most creamiest from first application but it doesn't look bad and then this is what the liquid lipstick packaging looks like interestingly it looks more like a mascara to me okay that's a lot more watery than i'd expected and it doesn't 100% match the color of the lip liner but again the color is right up my alley like I definitely would wear that and then I also couldn't resist picking up the perfect pink sweet and uplifting candle um, this is another one that's supposed to burn up to 60 hours and it says it has sweet scents of rhubarb and peach with candied caramel and raspberry blossom i mean i'm loving the sound of all of that it just sounds perfect for spring this was four pounds and it just looks so much more expensive than it was my last one that i brought from primark in my last haul i literally have been burning that all the time it's more of a vanilla scent um, and I think I mentioned it in my last favourites as well. I love that and I would definitely pick that scent up again. But I thought I'd go for something a little bit different this time since it is now springtime and I want to bring these more uplifting scents um, into my workspace and into my area. So yeah, I really, really like the look of this and the price of this and hopefully the smell of this will be just as nice as the vanilla one. And my final Primark purchase was one of these sets of 10 non-slip hangers with the copper hooks that was my very short and sweet Primark haul I hope you enjoy seeing what I picked up everything in this haul came up to around 60 quid which was really good for me like I tend to usually spend about 100 and I feel like I got a decent amount for my money I didn't pick up many clothes but I picked up quite a few like other little knickknacks and things like that things that I've been needing and maybe one or two things that I didn't really need but I wanted to try out because of the hype uh, I'm loving how Primark are up in their quality in their makeup I have seen those videos going around like a full face of Primark makeup testing but because I'm really trying to be a little bit savvy and sensible with my makeup spending I don't think I'll be doing one of those videos anytime soon unless you guys really want to see it but I think that for now I'm quite happy to just pick the things that I really want to see and try and you know then share those things with you I will definitely be letting you guys know what I think about the lip kit and the perfumes as well um, and yeah and also that brush you will need that brush in your life it's really really good okay since the lighting is still looking pretty good i thought i'd try out that lip kit in the shade thrill seeker and this is the lip liner don't mind my dry and crusty lips by the way guys okay that's the lip liner i think it looks pretty decent i don't think it's doing that much for me though but we'll see and then this is a liquid lipstick i mean the packaging is really really cool Oh my goodness, I I can't believe that, I, that formula is so nice, so when I swatched it on the back of my hand I said how it's quite lightweight and more liquidy than I expected as you can see here, I can't feel it on my lips, but the pigmentation is so nice and actually the nude shade for my skin tone is looking really 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 good, wow. I'm kind of speechless right now. That feels so nice on her lips. I mean, it depends on how long it lasts for. That's what will really determine if it's worth it. But so far, so far, so good. Like on first impressions for three quid, I am not mad about it at all. It's not even really accentuated the dryness of my lips. I mean, you guys saw how dry and crusty they were looking. And it's not even accentuated that. So I'm really pleased with that. I would wear this shade on a daily basis. Like, I really would. I think it really really compliments my skin tone I don't know how well it's coming out on camera but in person like it really really compliments my skin tone so yeah I am I'm pretty happy with this thanks Primark thank you okay back to the haul I really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe before you leave I'll see you in the next one bye